and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from the poem and the journey by Ruth Padell, published by Chateau and Windus in 2007, uh, and reading some of the 60 poems. Uh, this one is, well, if you know about the history of Ireland, it's quite easy to get angry, especially if you're actually Irish. Uh, I think this explains itself, and it's by... Avon Boland, and it's called that the science of cartography is limited. So, that the science of cartography is limited by Avon Boland. And not simply by the fact that this shading of forest cannot show the fragrance of balsam, the gloom of cypresses, is what I wish to prove. When you and I were first in love, we drove to the borders of Connaught and entered a wood there. Look down, you said. This once was a famine road. I looked down at ivy and the scutch grass, rough cast stone and disappeared into, as you told me, in the second winter of their ordeal in 1847, when the crop had failed twice relief committees gave the starving Irish such roads to build. Where they died, there the road ended, and end still, and when I take down the map of this island, it is never so I can say, here is the masterful, the apt rendering of the spherical as flat, nor an ingenious design which persuades a curve into a plane, but to tell myself again that the line which says woodland and cries hunger and gives out among sweet pines and cypress and finds no horizon will not be there. Thank you. Like many people in this country, I have ancestors who came over to escape the Irish famine. Uh, I thought that was a very wonderful poem about it. For other poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube.